breaking news, regulators have approved the so-called MF rule, which means further restrictions on how derivatives brokers can invest their clients' collateral. Megan Hughes is in Washington with the latest. Megan? Hi there, Margaret. That's right. The CFTC, that's the agency that regulates commodities, just voted on this. They approved this rule 5 to 0. This is the rule that Commissioner Bart Chilton called the, quote, MF rule. What this rule does, it specifically focuses on limiting brokers from investing clients' margins in money market funds. It also bans investment in foreign sovereign debt, also in-house transactions. So that includes repurchase agreements, overturning a policy that got rolling in 2005. Now, Chairman Gensler has said in the past few weeks in congressional testimony that the agency needed to tighten up these regulations. He reiterated that today, and no commissioners dissented. Here's what he had I to believe say. there is an inherent conflict of interest between parts of a firm doing these transactions, and I'm glad that we're able to consider a uh, staff recommendation on a final rule today. Now, Gensler did delay this rule in July after being lobbied by brokers and executives, and that includes John Corzine, then chairman of MF Global. The rule then gained urgency after MF filed for bankruptcy at the end of October, and as much as $1.2 billion of its customer money went missing. Now, of course, Corzine, who resigned last month, is being compelled by subpoena to testify before Congress this week. We also have learned that two other congressional committees did announce their plans. They're considering Corzine subpoenas as well. Also, Margaret, this rule, just for bookkeeping, will take effect 60 days after this vote. Brokers then will need to comply 180 days after that. So we still have a little bit of time before we start seeing this in the markets.